Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for July to August 2024 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. Your first message, we have light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light because in reality that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. Sometimes we need to be reminded. Let's see what we have, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Spirit, animal, oracle card. Snow Leopard, take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. I mean, it's quite a secretive energy, the snow leopard as well. Snow leopards are, I, um, I think they're very difficult to uh, photograph because they're so secretive, hidden. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Let's pull you a destiny card. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. We've got pleasure. Oh. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, the way that it fell out of my hand. But we've got pleasure. Pleasure can sometimes be indulgence, but it can also be happiness and joy. Let's see what we have for you. The picture shows the luscious meadow. Savor your life, each and every part of it. Take pleasure in slowing down and experiencing each of your senses. Taste your food with gu full gusto. Inhale the sense of the world around you. Enjoy the colours and textures of your life. This is truly a stop and smell the roses card. Embrace your sensuality. Move in a languid way. Let pleasure be your password in every intimate part of your life. Allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying each and each moment with verve. And a radiant energy will flow through you in all directions of your life. Let's see what we get with the cards. What do we have for Aquarius? Message for our lovely Aquarians, Angel Spirits Guides. Message from Spirit, July to August time. Thank you. So we have a relationship or partnership of some level here. The lovers represents a choice. It is a powerful union. Could well be about a relationship, love or romantic, but it can also be partnerships of other kinds, projects, initiatives, community. It can also be to do with business. With that, we've got the Ace of Cups. New, renewed, next level love, self-love as well with the Ace of Cups. It's a new beginning or emotional rebirth. The Hierophant. Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. Knight of Pentacles.
Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. And we have the world. I mean, this feels like there's an opportunity to move to the next level in some way. So Aquarius, in terms of, of in terms of love, romance, relationships, as in new love, the lovers can represent an opportunity to move to relationship status. It's likely that you have an opportunity. I feel that you would likely have already met this person. Uh, they're in your atmosphere. Now, it could well be a work thing. Uh, for others of you, it could well be to do with, you know, just uh, somebody who is in your atmosphere where there's an opportunity for a relationship. It can also be about uh, starting something new as a business partnership as well. So, however this manifests for you, but it feels like there's an opportunity to move to the next level of your life because the world is a completion. It's the end of the major arcana. It's the end of that cycle. One cycle is finishing. But with the will, we always step through to the next phase of our life. And that's what this Ace of Cups is. It's a new beginning. Emotional rebirth, new joy, new happiness. Uh, and the Seven of Swords, it might well be that you or the other person, it's time to express how I feel. It's time to ask someone out. It's time to make a move. For some of you, like I said, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, uh, this can actually be through um, a work situation. The Hierophant can also represent traditional institutions as well, so it could well be that. Um, it always represents a higher power at work, working through the situation. Um, so it can be a religious, you know, religious group, um, can be to do with um, hospitals, police, uh, education, uh, you know, the, the established uh, institutions of society, you know. So there could well be an opportunity that you're, you're, there's an opportunity to commit to a new relationship um, in that kind of setting as well. But this can also be the Hierophant working through a situation to bring you likely what you need. The Knight of Pentacles, it could also be, like I said, a work situation as well. But the Knight of Pentacles is very positive in terms of moving forward in a, in a solid and stable way. Because I think that somebody is stepping up. It feels like someone is stepping up. Could well be this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands could also be your energy. But it, it might well be mustering the courage to take action and step up. It might well be that there, there are other interested parties here, you know. Um, something might, or you could be, you know... Um, leaving for another job if it was a work situation, you know, or moving or relocating in some way or, I mean, whatever that circumstance is would prompt this person to step up. It feels like it's a kind of carpe diem moment, as in seize the day kind of thing. Um, and I feel it's about opening, opening up or offering love, uh, likely in a new relationship because maybe there's changes happening in some way or someone's realizing it's time or there's interested parties that they want to fend off. Either way, I, I think it's with a view to taking things to the next level. Uh, the world is the completion of one cycle, and it's a very successful energy. Um, and taking, moving things to the next level, but likely to do with a relationship status. If this was an existing relationship... It might well be here, Aquarius, the existing relationship, and again, taking into account. I mean, this is where I feel that there is breathe it all in, embrace everything, you know. Um, and it could well be that that would be the advice you're in a positive way with that pleasure card. Just be open, see where things go, be open to all experiences. Think that people are being put on your life, life uh, path for a reason, you know. Is the energy at play here? Now, for others of you, in terms of an existing relationship, you know, the, the Ace of Cups, has, there's a, a kind of feeling somebody offering you love or 
wanting to move to the next level in terms of love, romance, relationships. It might well be because they, they suspect it's time, because they suspect potentially deep down you might be planning other things or you might have other opportunities. It might well be there are other, there's another interested party around here as well. It might well be that this person is questioning uh, another party's motives, you know, about you as well here, Aquarius. So this is the same energy. This feels like, I think that a new, it feels like moving to the next level in terms of love, romance, relationships. The Knight of Pentacles in the Hierophant is a commitment. Um, could be firming things up that you're a, a relationship, in a relationship if they haven't been committed to that so far. This could also be a practical thing like, uh, let's buy a home, let's move in together, let's rent a place, you know? Uh, so it could well be of that nature. It might also be because you have a job and they're threatened or a new job and they're threatened. Uh, it's a higher power working through a situation to bring you some opportunity to move to the next level in terms of relationship status here. There's, there's an assertive energy, again, queen of wands, male or female. This is action, go-getting, driven, charismatic person. You know, the seven of wands is when we defend. Um, again, there is that sense of stepping up, defending, protecting what's important to us. But likely, uh, if they feel a little bit insecure, something is causing them to step up, whether it's another party or whether changes are happening, and they feel a bit threatened. Uh, could well be, like I said, a new job. Uh, you might be talking about the new people, you know, and the person that you've met, you know, and they're feeling a bit threatened. Um, the same energy applies. It feels like there's an opportunity to firm things up and move things to the next level in relationship terms. Maybe this person hasn't been committed. Maybe they've liked having fun, you know. Uh, that could also be an energy here, but they know it's time to kind of change all that and be more uh, committed on a path. And I think there's something is happening here, Aquarius, to make them do exactly that. And that's what I have for you here, Aquarius. Like I said, the lovers and when we see the Knight of Pentacles... I mean, there could well be an opportunity for a business partnership of some kind, but I also feel that there's there's something here that affects a relationship or the potential of a new partnership being formed. Again, it, it feels like that causes someone to step up. I mean, it, it could well be The existing place where you work, if you have a new job or a new business opportunity, it might well be they don't want you to leave. But fundamentally, it feels more to do with uh, uh, a partnership or relationship central to this here, Aquarius, uh, where someone feels uh, it's time to either express how they feel to you and move things to a new relationship status for others of you, it feels uh, it feels defending uh, an existing relationship, regardless of what the changes are here. And that's what I have for you. Let's see what we have as a little angel message. What do we have for, I mean, new joy, either way. The Ace of Cups, new joy. That is new pleasure, new happiness, new joy. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aquarius. We have wisdom. Knowledge is learnt, but wisdom is the divine prompting within you. Your angel guidance is to connect to your still quiet centre and listen to the wisdom of your soul. Then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self. With wisdom, life takes on a new perspective. As dramas and fears become insignificant, in comparison with the magnificence of the overall picture. Walk your path in life as one of the wise ones and all will revere you and respect you. Your affirmation, I listen to my wisdom. And this can always be vice versa in terms of relationships. This could be you, you know, uh, making a stance, you know, opening up to a new beginning. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for July to August time. I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next month or two and I will see you next time.